here, here I will show how to use driving assistance on uh, Ford Fiesta 2018. Uh, you should be sure that you have, uh, first of all, cameras installed uh, on your uh, window. I will show you later from outside how they look like. And uh, to use assistance, there are three different uh, um, three different functions that can support this car. So the function number one, it is main maintaining of your car in between white lines. To activate it, you should see the icon here. The car is in between lines. You click it and then uh, it will activate here. After that, you see two green lines in, uh, on the dashboard. It means that car is now recognizing the lines and you can feel how it's uh, adjusting your wheel when you are losing or going away from the line. So this is nice assistant, nice assistant for the long way. Uh, so you can be sure that a car won't go away from the road. So this assistance only maintaining car in between lines. The second assistant, it's called uh, adaptive cruise, cruise control. For example, you want to go with constant speed as a cruise control. Let's say you want to set speed 100 km per hour. But at the same time, you would, uh, you would like to maintain distance to the car in front. So you won't bump it in case it's, uh, it's braking. So especially for this, there is a, a adaptive cruise control. It activates with this button. Uh, once you click this button, you should set the speed on which um, it goes. Uh, normally, it sets up on the speed uh, what you're using currently. So now we will activate it. First, you click this button, uh, Adaptive Cruise Control, and then you uh, you choose the speed. Uh, you see here it says that uh, Cruise Control and Set. And you just click this button up here. And that's it. Now adaptive cruise control activated. You can see that he uh, following the car in front. So you can see in the front there is a car. And now I'm not even uh, pushing pedal of the gas. I'm not uh, pushing the brake uh, pedal. And now the car maintains constant speed. For example, now I set the speed 100 km per hour and we see the car is always goes 100. If I want to slow down a little bit, I just click down. It will slow down to 98. If I long click up, for example, it will um, increase until next uh, 10 kilometers per hour. For example, it can go 90, 100, 110, 120. It's a long click. So basically with this manipulator, you can uh, switch between speeds. Uh, so now you see that uh, there is a car in the front and uh, the car is maintaining distance uh, for him. And to set what exactly distance to maintain, there is another button. This uh, this button here, uh, to, to be comfortable, I will switch on on the uh, cruise control uh, page. This button here says what distance to maintain. If you will repeatedly uh, click on this button, you see that it's changing here the distance. Small and big one. So if you will now see uh, have the car in front, you will see that uh, the car is approaching. So for example, that car, we will now approach to it. Now this car will start entering, now you see, and the car will start braking. Now the car is braking automatically, I'm not doing anything. You see? Here is the speed, it's a uh, brake until 93. So now I can increase uh, the speed until the car, and car start braking by allowing that car to go faster. Or if I decrease this distance, the car, anyway, uh, vice versa, starts pushing gas to approach that car. But all this time, car won't go faster than 100 kilometers per hour. So as it's shown here, so it means that if car, if a front car goes very fast, uh, you won't follow it on, on the same speed. So this is all about uh, distance. Now I would like to show you how to use the system on the road. For example, you want to brake now very fast and you click a little bit brake and you see the system deactivated automatically. But it's not disabled, it's just cancelled. You see that it's crossed. If you want to restore it again, you just click button rest. And now it's again back on 100. 
or for example you want to um, cancel this uh, cruise control manually for this there is a button cancel you click cancel it's canceled you click restore it's restored uh, what yeah I also would like to say is that uh, you can all this time during um, uh, this uh, cruise control you can always use your acceleration pedal if I now click acceleration you see that there is a button uh, the label written that you're accelerating and the car goes faster and the last assistant you have here it is a speed limit this one to understand how it works I will of course now uh, disable the cruise control because these two functions cannot work together the cruise control already maintaining the same speed so I'm canceling cruise control I'm going with the speed 98 and I click limit and click button up so now you see there is a green label and said that you set the limit to 100 what it means that if I will put pedal of acceleration even until the floor I'm not going faster than 100 this is a very nice uh, function if you go somewhere where limit is 50 or 60 and you don't want to uh, go faster and every time watch your uh, uh, speedometer you just uh, set 50 kilometers per hour and you go uh, 50 now the same to cancel this speed limit you just click cancel button now it's cancelled and we are going however when you have the speed limit or cruise control all this time the car is maintained in between lines because this function which activates uh, here it's independent from uh, the speed limit and distance this is how it works uh, all this part of, of the controls is dedicated for uh, this uh, adaptive cruise control and it's very nice feature and save you a lot of energy for long travels that's it enjoy hope you will use it